leaving Ohio and Lake Erie, Edgewater Park. I don't get down here every winter. I wish I would always get down here at least once, or at least once when there's ice. But there's a Coast Guard boat there. I suppose it's an icebreaker. There is a lot of ice, and there is a lot of open water as well, but I think Lake Erie is about 70% ice right now. And out here, by the water intake, there is a ship. That's a water intake on the left, and a ship on the right. Right there. Yeah, looks like a gray ship. And the water intake is red, so you can see all the ice and also open water. Southern shore of Lake Erie, Cleveland, Ohio, Cuyahoga County, February 1st, 2022. Got the two lighthouses over there and the Coast Guard boat. Icebreaker. There's the icebreaker right there. I can smell skunk or skunky marijuana. Some people out on the shoreline here. And here's Cleveland. There's the Key Tower, Huntington Bank, Terminal Tower. So I'm looking towards uh, Whiskey Island, Winter. Whiskey Island, Wendy Park, and I'm at Edgewater. sure where the icebreaker is going but looks like he's going west of well he's he's east of the Cuyahoga River he's east of the port of Cleveland he's in the inner harbor must be making an ice path for uh, any ships that are trying to get through here, but the Cuyahoga River right now is ice. So it was just down there <clears throat> on the west bank by the Nautica Queen, and it was all ice. This is Edgewater Park. Edgewater Beach is on the other side of those trees. Past those cars over there. And this is uh, the frozen Lake Erie. Looking to the west towards Lakewood. And beyond that towards then Sandusky and the islands. Putin Bay, Kelly's Island, South Bass Island. We're west of here that way. You can see the open water. Sometimes this pier is all full of ice and snow and it's hard to get onto or dangerous. Right now it's mostly dry or wet, not too bad. But like I said, there's a warning out right now for a bad storm coming tomorrow night.
Dad's pool to see Lake Erie frozen, to see the ice. Sometimes you get some pretty incredible structures. The way the ice builds up at times from the weather changing, thaws and wind and there's a nasty chemtrail over there. Chemtrails and crem chem crap there and there. Look, there's another trail right there. Anyway, not sure what these people over here. Not sure what they're doing. But it'd be fun playing around on the frozen lake. At the same time, it's very dangerous. As a kid with dad having a boat at Beaver Park on Lake Erie, I went out on the lake when it was frozen, played around around the river, the frozen river, walking or ice skating or playing hockey or just playing on the ice piles and stuff. So here's this. Sh I'm not sure if he's trying to come into Port of the Cleveland and waiting for the, wants the Coast Guard, the icebreaker to, to break up the ice so he can get in or what, or where he's going. But he's definitely moving to the east towards either to come into Cleveland here or to go to Buffalo. But it looks to me now he's kind of heading into Cleveland and that icebreaker I saw must be trying to cut a path in the, within the break in the inner harbor here to spot along the shore to load or unload. The icebreaker is there's the two lighthouses. There's the ship that I guess is working itself in. And the water tank. Anyway, to me it's pretty neat seeing Lake Erie frozen, seeing it Seeing the ice, or seeing an ice breaker. Sometimes the lighthouse would get covered with ice from the waves splashing all over it and freezing. That gets pretty neat too, seeing the lighthouse is full of ice at times. But uh, right across from me, that stack over here, I was just over there driving through there, that's Battery Park, and there's a brewery in there. Once was an ever ready battery factor, not ever ready battery factory now it's a lot of new housing modern housing but there's a in that building with that brick stack is a brewery terrestrial brewery which i've been in this is ohio city part of cleveland is called ohio city around detroit avenue and west 25th a lot of housing and businesses see a bunch of seagulls over here. These concrete things in the ice here once used to be a pier many years ago. A storm, winter storm wiped out the pier and that's just left from it. 